Hi everyone and welcome to day 21. Today is supposed to be hatching day. We're pretty excited here at the extension office. So let's take a look inside and see what's going on. Currently the temperature is 100 degrees and the humidity is at 68%. We have a few eggs that have moved around during this time, but we don't see any that are starting to pip out yet. So we're gonna to continue to look in on them. Sometimes it might take a day or two extra for them to hatch, so we'll just continue watching. Although generally it takes 21 days, that's on average, so it could fluctuate one to two days on either end of day 21. So let's talk about the vocabulary words for today. The first one is diet, and this is the whole nutrition plan for a specific animal. So that includes all the nutrients that make up um, all of their standards for what they need to eat. And then handling is where we're able to take the chicks out of the incubator and care for them by hand. And generally we're just moving them from the incubator into the brooder box, which is what's gonna keep them safe and warm and help them to thrive in a new environment where it's safe and has food and water for them to eat. And then predator is something that can hunt and kill an animal and we wanna to try to keep them safe from any type of predator. So if we were in a situation where these chicks were hatching in a chicken coop, we would wanna make sure it's secure and that nothing could get in to eat the chicks. And then survival is just thriving on daily life to make sure that they're able to continue to live from day to day and be protected and safe and survive, which is basically just sustaining life. So the fun facts for today are that the chicks are developing their egg tooth, which is gonna get them out to pip through. So their egg tooth hardens over this time and they're able to basically break the inner membrane from the inside out to get out. And then the chicks will go into the brooder once they're dry and walking. So they'll actually stay in the incubator and dry off and get their legs kind of underneath them. And then once they're walking around and they're nice and dry, we'll move them into the brooder box, which has a heat lamp and food and water and some bedding. So that way they're nice and safe and dry and they have access to clean food and water. And they'll actually automatically start eating and drinking. They don't need any prompting really. When they're ready, they'll go straight to the food container or straight to the water and be able to consume those things. We'll check in on the chicks again tomorrow. See you then.